If you're planning to do some interior painting, the key to achieving a great result is thorough preparation. Because you don't just want a pretty job, you want a proper job that will last for years. And at Home Timber and Hardware, we reckon if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Today's range of interior paints make doing it yourself a breeze, even if you're a first timer. When selecting your colour, use a sample pot to confirm your choice, as colours can appear to change in larger areas and under different lights. Once you've chosen your colour, you need to select the most appropriate finish. Gloss and semi-gloss finishes reflect light and are mostly used on doors, trims and cupboards. Low sheen is the most popular sheen level, as not only is it easy to clean, but it also hides surface imperfections much better than the glossier finishes. Low sheen is ideal for hallways, lounges, bedrooms and dining rooms. When painting kitchens, bathrooms and laundries, select a paint that's been specifically formulated for these wet areas in a semi-gloss or low sheen finish. Flat paints are perfect for ceilings, as they absorb rather than reflect the light, therefore hiding surface imperfections. Remember that flat finishes are the most difficult to clean. When you're ready, clear the room, cover the floor with drop sheets. Next, look for cracks and holes in the plaster, walls and ceiling. These can be easily repaired by slightly overfilling the crack. And then, sanding it back once it's dried to a smooth surface. Then, apply a primer undercoat and allow to dry. Check all the woodwork too for splits, nicks and pop nails. This includes window frames, architraving and skirting boards. A wood filler is ideal for repairs because it dries in 20 minutes and can then be sanded, primed and ready for painting. If you find any peeling, flaking or blistered paint on the walls or ceiling, a gentle sanding will usually be all that's needed. However, old painted woodwork that's heavily layered or starting to peel or chip may need to be removed using a paint stripper or a heat gun. Once the old paint's removed, a sanding sponge is perfect for getting into those nooks and crannies typical of timber mouldings. Now you're ready to give the walls a light rub down with a grade 160 or 180 sandpaper. This creates a slightly rougher surface texture and gives the paint something to cling on to. Of course you'll need a good stable ladder or preferably two with a wide board between them to create a scaffold. Once everything is sanded, brush and wipe the walls down and give the room a good vacuum. If the surfaces are in good condition, then all you'll need to do is ensure that they're clean from any dirt, dust or grease before you start painting. For best results, wash everything down with sugar soap to give you a good, clean surface that's ready for decorating. As soon as the walls are dry, you're ready to paint. It's also a good idea to remove the covers from the light switches and power points so you don't have to paint round them. You'll need a roller and paint tray, an extendable handle for the roller and a couple of good quality brushes. Apply a quality painter's tape along edges where you don't want any paint. Mix your paint thoroughly, then using a tapered edge brush, start the cutting in process. Cutting in is the technical term for painting along the edges of the walls and ceiling and up to the edges of skirting boards and architraves so the roller can do its job. Once your cutting in is complete, you're ready to roll. Make sure your roller has a generous and even amount of paint on it. And then with steady strokes, apply your paint working one square metre at a time. Roll the paint onto the surface using a close zigzag motion. Then re-roll the area with parallel strokes to even the paint out. Begin the next area of the wall a metre down, overlapping the wet edge of the previously completed area. Continue these steps, working a square metre at a time. For colour consistency, you'll need two coats, making sure you allow sufficient drying time in between. To complete the job, use a trim brush to paint the woodwork. Now you can step back and admire a proper paint job that will look brilliant for years. If you'd like more proper advice on a whole range of DIY projects, 
Drop into Home, Timber and Hardware anytime. Or to download our handy brochure on interior painting, click on the button below. Your local home, timber and hardware. The proper hardware store.